Good morning, everyone. My name is Barbara Schoenhofer, and I'm here today because of my daughter, Claire. She is autistic, and she does not work despite having many attributes. We are joined today by over 200 of you signing up across three continents, and we're all so excited to welcome you to our game launch. As a team of 10 volunteers, we've actually been working on GAY now since the beginning of the pandemic. We have been surprised by just how many people across the industry have lived experience of neurodiversity, either in business or personally. Also, the industry, their readiness to collaborate and to engage has not surprised us at all. Insurance, savings and pensions companies are hungry to know more, learn from the neurodiverse and tap into their unique talents. I don't think I, I, I would be in business today the way that I am if I, without my daughter Claire. Claire taught me to look at the world differently and to appreciate difference. And she made me a better business person because of it. Before I introduce you to Gain, a couple of housekeeping points. Uh, please stay mute throughout the duration of the session. Uh, we're hoping for time at the end for uh, questions, so please place these in the chat facility. We will aim to answer as many as possible today, but we'll also be following up. Our message from the GAIN team is simple. Think different, work better, GAIN together. Our conviction is that businesses need to think differently in order to work better. It is by adapting and changing views about people and their contributions and accepting and respecting differences that we can gain together. In the last 18 months in building our community and network, we have come to realize one size doesn't fit all. There have been many positives and negatives for people when working remotely. People and their different situations are very much at the top of the board agenda. We have had to adjust to different situations in the way people work best, remain creative, and get gelled together as teams. The same applies regarding how we adjust to welcome neurodiverse people. I am pleased to introduce Alicia Norcrum, who will share her personal story of neurodiversity. Alicia. Hello, my name is Anitia Norkan and I'm a neurodiversity and well-being trainer, consultant and coach at Expand the Circle. I am also autistic. I started my career as an actuary in the insurance sector, where I worked for companies like Deloitte, Legal and General and Munich Re for nearly a decade, so I understand the industry very well. Like many neurodiverse women, I received a late diagnosis of the autism spectrum condition. In large part, my autism got diagnosed late due to my ability to mask my autistic traits to fit in to fit in into the largely neurotypical world, but at a high cost to my well-being. Learning about autism and neurodiversity helped me to understand the reasons behind my challenges of navigating a largely non-autistic world, but also made me more aware of the unique strengths and perspectives that neurodiverse people bring to the workforce. The journey of discovering my neurodivergence late in life allowed me to be more aware of what I need to perform at my best. But it also highlighted that more needs to be done within the financial services industry to improve perceptions around autism and other neurodiverse conditions and make space for and benefit from a different view that neurodivergent individuals bring. Having discovered and embraced my true identity, I'm now on a mission to change the perceptions surrounding autism and other neurodiverse conditions by championing the autistic community 
and the latest research into neurodiversity through training, coaching, and consulting. If the COVID-19 pandemic has taught us anything, it is that by collaborating, we can achieve desired outcomes faster and better. And this is the reason why I chose to partner with GAIN and help create a community of like-minded people so that we can harness the power of neurodiversity faster and better. So why do we need gain as an industry? And why does it make sense to gain together? Put simply, to attract and retain neurodiverse people, we need to be more open and conscious when hiring and be able to demonstrate we are prepared to welcome different behaviors and thoughts. Gain is about network. We are building a community of individuals and companies from across insurance savings and pensions with the express intention of the industry consciously employing more neurodiverse and autistic people. We know that there are many neurodiverse people in our society as one in a hundred of us are autistic and there are many more of us that are dyslexic, dyspraxic and have ADHD. We also know that as an industry, we already employ people who are undiagnosed or covering up their perceived disability. So why is building a network so important? As a community interest company for the insurance and financial services industry, GAIN is building a safe space for all neurodiverse individuals and their allies working in our sector. By providing a center to share stories, find sponsors, mentors and allies, and ultimately jobs and careers, we are creating trusting relationships while learning from each other and growing the confidence of who we are. Our hope is that this will encourage a freer dialogue between neurodiverse individuals and their employers, thereby leading to a better understanding and respect for how people can operate differently while adding value in different ways. The industry-wide focus is also important. As a sector together with our corporate and individual members, we will grow gay as an industry-backed membership organization, offering our members benefits built on shared knowledge, experience and requirements. By developing an industry-wide hub and community, we will be able to gather the data to monitor roles and careers most suited to our thriving neurodiverse community, all based on mutual respect and shared vision. At the same time, we will set the pace for other sectors as an example of the power of mutuality for the good of the whole industry. Let's showcase insurance, savings and pensions as the sector prepared not only to welcome but embrace the neurodiverse and the culture change needed to better reflect and serve our broad church customer base together. We're extremely thankful to those UK companies that have already stepped forward as founding members. Thank you, Lexi, Marsh, Principal, Swiss Re, Underwrite Me and Jury. I'm now delighted to wel welcome Georgina Philippou, who is Senior Advisor for Equality for the FCA, who will be sharing how the FCA is recognizing the need to think different, work better, gain together. Hello everyone, my name is Georgina Philippou and I'm a Senior Advisor for Equality at the Financial Conduct Authority. We do a wide range of very challenging work at the FCA, from rulemaking and policy making to research and analysis to supervising and enforcing. And we support this with a complicated technology platform and data and intelligence. 
This means we need colleagues, not just with different skills, backgrounds, and experiences, but who can think in different ways and come at a problem from different angles to find different solutions that otherwise we might not have dreamed up. If we get this right, we work better and make better decisions for consumers and for firms and for markets. This is especially important as we become a regulator for the 21st century. We're increasingly becoming a data-led regulator and data and analytics and artificial intelligence and machine learning are not areas we have traditionally recruited for. It's also important as we all emerge from our kitchens into a new hybrid working environment. In a hybrid world where we will have more choice over where we work and how we work, inclusion becomes even more important. This is a tremendous opportunity to improve the working environment and opportunities for neurodiverse colleagues. So we make sure we support neurodiverse people in the SDA. And we do this in a variety of ways. For example, issuing guidance about meeting etiquette, how to have inclusive meetings, especially in a hybrid environment, providing training in inclusive leadership for all of our managers and heads of department and directors, ensuring line managers have inclusion objectives and are measured on them, providing additional time or support to colleagues with dyslexia, and taking neurodiversity into account when allocating work and doing appraisals. This support is vital to make sure that we get the most from our people so everyone contributes and thrives and we get the best outcomes in our work. We want to be a responsible, inclusive and caring employer, but this also extends beyond our four walls or our virtual four walls. We want firms to think about neurodiversity when they design and deliver products and services for their customers. So we're huge supporters of GAIN's goal of improving outcomes for neurodiverse individuals in insurance, investment and other financial services. It's entirely consistent with what we're trying to achieve too. And our recent discussion paper on diversity and inclusion in financial services Ask for your views on how we can work together to drive change across financial services. So we look forward to hearing from a whole range of stakeholders on that so we can develop it into new rules and guidance and expectations of firms. Thank you, Georgina. I'm delighted and excited to be here today. A year ago, I joined GAIN from BP, where I led the Neurodiversity Employee Resource Group. There I saw firsthand how employing neurodiverse talent was great for the company and how being employed by a great company was brilliant for the neurodiverse talent. It's a real win-win. So I'm delighted to be part of this amazing team here at GAIN and I'm excited and hope we can make a real difference to the insurance, investment and related financial services industry and the neurodiverse colleagues within it. And I believe the time is right to think different, work better and gain together. A thousand people signed up for our talk at the Global Insurance Inclusion and Diversity Festival dive in last week. A thousand people, which was the maximum the system would allow. That shows a huge interest from companies and individuals in neurodiversity. So let me begin by outlining our core beliefs, which helps inform our proposition. We believe that having neurodiversity in your team increases the quality of decision making and execution and greater inclusion leads to superior business outcomes. So what do we mean by that? Imagine working in a team where everyone had the same ideas all of the time. The team would have strong biases and blind spots, 
and we're not being particularly inventive at solving problems or making improvements. Working with colleagues who bring different approaches makes everyone more successful, provided you make an effort to listen to them. I've worked with teams who've struggled for weeks with particular challenges, been unable to find solutions until some neurodiverse colleagues joined them and that's when the breakthroughs were made. Hence, we want to facilitate employment pathways for neurodiverse people into the industry and enable companies to access untapped talent that can help them be more successful. That might sound difficult, but other sectors, such as banking and high tech, have been successful hiring neurodiverse talent and achieving great success with them. We believe that our sector can be successful also. Indeed, there are many great examples within our industry that prove that already. We want to do more than just emulate their success. We believe our sector can win by leading in neurodiversity. We believe it's a win for the industry and a win for neurodiverse people. We're often asked what type of roles are suited to neurodiverse individuals. Well, there's a saying that when you've met one neurodiverse person, you've met one neurodiverse person. And that's absolutely true. Everyone is different and has a unique con contribution to make. However, we believe that neurodivergent individuals have strengths that make them ideally suited to roles in the insurance, investment and savings. As example, dyslexic people often bring incredible creative thinking, strong interpersonal skills and are very good at seeing the big picture. They're entrepreneurial and great at problem solving. Richard Branson is an example. Dyslexic people often make great leaders. As I'm sure you have, I myself have worked in pressurised situations where people who bring energy, think creatively, concentrate and multitask perform really well. These are strengths that people with ADHD often bring. Autistic colleagues are often brilliant at problem solving, analytical thinking, have incredible attention to detail and deep expertise. You might have heard one autistic colleague at Dive In mention how he had memorised the manual which made him the go-to person in his team. And people with dyspraxia often possess great thinking, oral and interpersonal skills and problem solving ability. What a great combination of talents for a customer facing role. I want to thank the Chartered Institute of Insurance for their help developing this slide. And these are just some examples. As I say, everyone is different. Whether you work in insurance, investment or financial services, I'm sure you can see how these strengths can make a huge contribution to your success. And notice too, please, the size of the talent pool. There's a significant opportunity to gain critical skills right here. So how might we facilitate employment pathways for neurodiverse people into the industry and enable companies to access untapped talent that can help them be more successful? Well, as you've probably gathered, our approach to this has been collaborative with the industry and experts to work this out. Earlier this year, 30 organisations joined us in a design thinking workshop where together we developed our proposition. Thanks to everyone who joined us and had the fun of working with Mural. There are five specific things that we set out to do. Firstly, to establish a hub where corporate and individual members can come together in a safe and supportive environment. Secondly, to connect organisations who have practical experience of doing this well, not just in our sector, but also companies in financial services and high tech, as well as academia and specialist consultancies. Third, to learn and share best practices. Fourth, to celebrate success stories. 
and last, to engage government, regulators and all interested parties to showcase these successes, share views and create energy around the value that new diversity brings. Having identified the task that we need to undertake together, our next step in our design thinking workshop was to identify the services that would really make a difference. As corporate members, we will be thrilled to help you create business cases backed up with academic rigor, determine which roles in your organization are well matched to the sought after strengths that neurodiverse and autistic individuals bring. Provide recommendations on your recruitment process. Introduce you to fresh neurodiverse talent pools and support individuals, supervisors and teams starting from the onboarding process to ensure that everyone is set for success. We believe that these are the most impactful things that we can do. But every organisation is different, so we will tailor our support to your individual needs. Join us and we'll be thrilled to work with you. And to facilitate employment pathways for neurodiverse people into the industry, we're excited to run events where people can learn about the industry, its role and contribution to society, and the career pathways on offer. To make connections to organisations with roles that are well suited to their strengths. To run networking events and small intimate gatherings, providing a safe space in which to build relationships and trust. Through community comes courage, so creating a sense of belonging is paramount to the success of GAIN. And to run a career club where advice on how to develop your CV and guide you through the recruitment process. We are excited to have a program of events starting this month and invite all prospective individual members to visit our website and sign up. We hope these services are compelling, but we will continue to review and adjust over time to ensure success for all our members. Speaking of which, we've, we're delighted by the support that we've received already. I mentioned the thousand people that joined our dive in talk last week, and we're delighted as well by the leading companies that have joined us, including Aviva, Marsh, Principal, Swiss Re, Underwrite Me, and Zurich, as well as Ambitious About Autism, RQ, Expand the Circle, the IC Group and Lexic. We're excited to work with them and we're looking forward to sh sharing stories of their success with you in the near future. So let me conclude by summarising. We believe that having neurodiversity in your team increases the quality of decision making and execution and greater inclusion leads to superior business outcomes. Hence, we want to facilitate employment pathways for neurodiverse people into the industry and enable companies to un access untapped talent that can help them be more successful. We've worked together with 30 companies to develop our proposition and we're excited to have leading companies and partners join with us already. We're thrilled by the level of interest from individuals like the thousand people at Dive In, and we cannot wait to start as we think different, work better, and gain together. Please visit our website or reach out to any one of us to learn more. Thank you. And I'd now like to introduce Yvonne Braun from the ABI. Yvonne. Hello, my name is Yvonne Braun. I'm the ABI's executive sponsor for diversity and inclusion. Unemployment for people on the autistic spectrum is higher than for any other group in the UK. And that's not just a human tragedy, it's also an enormous economic and societal waste. 
Some employers are already embracing the unique talents that people on the autistic spectrum have for visual thinking and for attention to detail. For example, the German software company SAP and the Israeli army in their visual intelligence unit. But I think that we in insurance and long-term savings also stand to gain enormously if we embrace the unique talents of people on the autistic spectrum. From my personal experience, I know that people on that spectrum look at the world in a completely different way and think about the world in unconventional ways, which can really enrich your life and has enriched our family life enormously. Our sector has already made great strides on diversity and inclusion. And I think if we now focus also on neurodiversity, we really stand to benefit enormously. And that's why we at the ABI are absolutely delighted with the work of GAIN and are very, very happy to support them as they reach out to our members. Thank you, Yvonne. And thanks very much to the ABI. It is absolutely amazing to have your support and such enthusiasm. Uh, before closing, uh, I'd like you to hear and see some of the endorsements from major organisations, including founder members, uh, who have worked so hard on this. But first, I'd like to uh, answer a few of the questions that have been coming in on the chat. And uh, as Barbara said, uh, we will pick up any that we can't. Thank you. Sorry. Questions from chat. Um, uh, we'll, we'll pick up any questions we can't answer now, because time is limited afterwards. Um, first, first question I, I'd uh, like to answer is, I would like to be a member. What happens after the launch? Well, first, what we'd like to do after the launch is sign up. We'll be showing you a QR code you can uh, scan later and giving you a link to the website to be able to do that. Um, in terms of concrete actions, as Andrew has mentioned, uh, we've already consulted with uh, corporate members to understand their needs and what is best to do with them. Um, building on this, we'll, we'll be refining our offering and planning how to implement measures to meet those needs. We'll be running network events and we'll be engaging with individuals uh, and with the third sector, especially experts in this field, on a very collaborative basis to uh, meet people's needs. Um, next question is, uh, as an individual, uh, will GAIN be a safe space? We think this is absolutely crucial, absolutely crucial. Um, we've got considerable expertise within our committee from places like RQ, from Ambitious About Autism, and we do absolutely understand the need for people who are autistic or with other forms of neurodiversity to ensure that our practice is led by, by people we serve and we, we do so in a safe way. Um, we are very compliant, we've got very clear protocols, and we have a consultative approach uh, which we will develop uh, as, as, we, as we go through. I um, have, I'm afraid to say, one eye on the clock, and we've got a great deal of chat coming through, which is, which is wonderful, but I'm afraid we're going to have to pick up most of it after the event. But we will, as Barbara said, do exactly that. Um, but before moving to show you our um, endorsements from around the industry, I'd just like to say a couple of words about why, as a 50-year veteran, very much on the commercial side of our industry, uh, I'm standing here talking to you about gain. Well, as well as uh, being a businessman for that period of time, for the last 15 years, I've been a trustee of the Quest School for Autistic Children, uh, which does a brilliant job. I, I have two dyslexic sons, so one way or the other, I've got quite close personal experience of the kind of issues which we are aiming to deal with. Um, and I know I'm not alone. I know most of you, many of you, will have had close personal experience, family experience, friends or colleagues 
who are neurodiverse and who have found difficulties as a result. But that wasn't actually what got me going. I'm a businessman. I wanted to see the commercial advantages of using the talents that are out there and not being properly used. It was that commercial side that got me involved. I have, over a long career, done most jobs in the business, uh, from doing the filing to chairing companies. I'm still involved. But I've become increasingly aware, especially over the last few years, of a gap in the talent available to the industry and its talent needs, especially but not only as a result of the change and the drive towards the sheer importance of data, um, that there's a gap in the talent that we need. That talent gap is shaped very similarly to the talents which are available from many, or many autistic and other neurodiverse people. And one in seven people are neurodiverse. This isn't a small issue, this is a big one. Together with my colleagues in GAIN, we share the belief that there are clear bottom line business benefits to uh, addressing this issue and there are clear bottom line business benefits that can be achieved without a big spend, without huge changes to uh, anything significant in the way that companies operate. It's more a matter of attitude and approach than it is of spending money. Um, the benefits that emerge go to the business, they go to the people concerned and increasingly importantly, as we've seen from places like Nest, who have run programs of this nature, the, there's a big benefit to the managers and the colleagues of the people concerned. Well, this isn't just our view. As Andrew mentioned, uh, we held workshops with more than 30 major organisations from across the sectors, insurance, investment, pensions, actuarial, that we think this is relevant to, and we asked them three questions. First, whether they agreed that improving employment prospects for neurodiverse people is important for meeting the talent needs of the industry as well as for the people themselves. Second, is now the time to do something about it? And third, should this be done on an industry-wide basis rather than hoping to see it develop business by business? Well, the answers from 30 organisations of all sorts was yes, overwhelmingly yes, NEM CON. Hence the launch today of this industry initiative, the one that they identified in the way that in the work we did, they said it ought to be done. The evidence that this wasn't just a warm glow from a well-meaning uh, series of, of workshops can be seen in the comments that follow from some, including our hugely appreciated founder members, as well as those already mentioned by the FCA and the ABI. I'd like you to just watch what, they, what these, this group of people say about harnessing the power of neurodiversity. There are really clear benefits from having a diverse workforce that reflects the profile of customers we're looking to serve, whether that's across gender, ethnicity, or disability. And having a neurodiverse workforce brings additional benefits. It's having into a valuable workforce with a very different skill set. So I find it incredibly important for businesses to fully embrace neurodiverse thinking. The way of thinking differently really add a lot of innovation. It, it can give you insight into things that you wouldn't otherwise have had thought about. It also makes your business more agile. Every autistic person is different. So every employee will have different strengths and needs. It's about getting to know the individual, being flexible and making often very minor adjustments that will enable people to thrive in the workplace. The adjustments may include some flexible working, changing the working environment or providing extra time or information at interview. 
encouraging employers to think differently about established practices benefits everyone, not just autistic employees. So Aviva, we've launched our neurodiversity placement scheme as part of our data science practice and identified and really looked at where is it in our onboarding process, recruitment process, advertising process for bringing in talent and seeing where could we make improvements to help neurodiverse individuals? What are the adjustments that we could make? And how can we really talk to um, potential candidates and talent in a, in a way that they, uh, it helps to remove anxieties um, and where we can support leaders in our organization and colleagues, as well as our neurodiverse colleagues and potential um, candidates and colleagues of the future. So as an organization, this really is delighted to be partnering with Gain. It's a really exciting um, alliance of people who have really come into this space to say about you know, the opportunity to champion neurodiversity. I think as, as a business, what I hope that Swiss Re can get out of this is first thing to be a leader in this area, to show that we can be one of the organizations that's really thought forward thinking and recognizing that we can push a different agenda and we can make ourselves accessible to all people. I think that has a huge benefit to us as an organization, as well as to the people who, um, who can now join our organization. So it means that we are seen not only as, you know, being a historically as a, a very old fashioned company, but also as a great employer of choice and a place where anybody can bring themselves to work. Diversity and inclusion, including neurodiversity are foundational to our culture and our continued success as an organization. We're committed to advancing accessibility within our workplace, providing professional development opportunities and supporting the well-being of all employees. That's why as Principal Financial Group, we're absolutely thrilled to be supporting Gain in its launch. Working with GAIN has been really important for me personally uh, and for my colleagues um, at Marsh and in MMC um, as we learn from GAIN how we can better uh, accommodate neurodiverse uh, colleagues um, and candidates that we attract into Marsh and into our industry. And as a group working alongside GAIN um, from across our industry, we're really comparing uh, notes on, on practical advice on what we can do better to be an employer that, that is really uh, designed well to embrace all skill sets and all different perspectives. Avina is really happy to be working um, with GAIN in this industry-wide um, initiative. Um, it's help that we need. Um, our objective here is to maximise the talents that we have at Avina, and that's no different uh, in many regards to our broader diversity and inclusion objective. I think there's a real thoughts for good here, bringing together and sharing insights from lived experience. There's a broad influential network, wide growing range of resources, and it runs collaborative cross-industry events that I've attended that encourages those attending to share ideas and experiences. I'm incredibly pleased at seeing how GAIN is coming together and how they're bringing the whole industry of insurances together and also the broader financial industry potentially. I think it's incredibly important to be together and work together. Collaboration is one of my key value words and it is one of the key words for the Institute of Neurodiversity we're launching as well. It's through us all collaborating that we can get to a place where we can have a bigger impact. We can make real things happen and real change happen for the better of everybody. Bish Spot Autism is thrilled to be a partner of GAIN. It's a fantastic community dedicated to increasing neurodiversity within the insurance and financial services sectors. Building understanding of autism and challenging myths about autistic employees is crucial if we're to help them into work and for businesses to benefit from their talents. Ambitious About Autism is sharing its experience and expertise in supporting autistic young people on their journey to work and employers to build a more autism confident workplace. We're really proud to be collaborating with gay members, many of whom have lived experience of 
neurodiversity themselves. We believe that together we can build a stronger workplace for autistic employees and everybody. Think different. Think different. Think different. Work better. Work better. Work better. Game together. together. Well, th thank you ever so much to uh, everybody who spoke there so powerfully and insightfully. Um, for example, Charlotte, who was until recently uh, the chair of the Institute of Directors, but who, like Alicia from earlier on, was a late recognised uh, as, as being autistic. I hadn't realised uh, the difficulties that people with autism and other forms of neurodiversity faced uh, in work. I concentrated, because of the background with the school, on getting people into the industry, but we know that the issues faced by people in the industry are as great, if different, from those of getting into it in the first place. Uh, at GAIN, we will help both people wishing to join the industry and people wishing to develop their careers inside the industry with contacts, connections, information throughout their working life, not just at the beginning of it. And crucially, in a safe and private, because we understand people who mask differences which should be their strengths. And finally, we want you to join we want corporates to join a wonderful group of Marsh, Zurich, Underwrite Me, Principal, Swiss Re and Aviva because we need to make the transition from a totally voluntary effort into one which is small but sustainable on a permanent basis. And we need individuals and their friends, families and colleagues to join. Uh, those who are seeking or developing careers in this industry which I'm so proud to have been a part of for so long but whose benefits to the people who it serves its customers are so often hidden under a bushel so please sign up scan the QR code or uh, click on www.gaintogether dot org stroke sign up thanks very much for watching tell your friends and sign up preferably sign up now think different work better gain together thank you very much indeed. <laughs>